Hello, and in this video I'm going to try and make simple effects analysis live up to its name and actually be simple. What we're going to look at in this video is how to interpret significant interaction in a factorial independent groups and over. Now, a lot of people when they have an interaction between two variables just look at the means but the, 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 there is actually a way you can test test where the interaction is exerting itself by statistical statistical inference. So that's what we're gonna look at today. The, in a lot of ways this isn't this isn't a great technique and it has plenty of pitfalls and a lot of people when they do this aren't testing what they actually think they're testing. So we're gonna do a separate video for more advanced users but this is meant for people who just want a quick introduction. So the example data for this video this is fictitious fictitious data the idea of this study was that we wanted to test the, the effect of several treatments for depression and we measured this depressive thought so after a range of treatments and the person was given psychological treatment that's this therapy variable and an SSRI and an antidepressant and each variable has two levels so everyone would either put on put on the waiting list for therapy or given therapy or, or given an antidepressant or, or given a placebo. So we want to test if if there's any difference between these variables and um notice this is, this is a balanced design. I've got the same 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 number of people for every every condition. So to run our basic ANOVA we want to go to analyze general linear model univariate and you can see I've got dependent variable and a dependent variable box number of depressive thoughts and I've got a, a two independent variables and a fixed factor box when we're looking at interactions it's very important to look at plots so we, we can see where the means kind of in, intersect and where there's a difference and where there isn't so I've got each of the two levels of therapy on the horizontal axis not normally the, the the thing that's got the lowest number of conditions is it's best to put that on the horizontal axis but there are only two variables each so uh, there are only two levels each so it doesn't really matter but yeah I've got that I've got that interest in terms of options not much here we don't need estimated manual means like you usually would because we're going to get those separately but I've turned on estimates of effect size and homogeneity test so you normally click OK at this point but to do, to do the simple effects analysis what we actually need to do is hit paste uh, and I'm going to add a bit of code which I'll explain what it does um, so we're going to say we want to we want to com compare based on the estimated manual means we want to generate some tables and what do we want to generate tables for well we want them for the therapy times SSRI interaction. We we want to compare each each level. With this uh, we want to compare both levels of the drug variable at each level of the therapy variable. That's how simple effects analysis works. Ho holds um, w one variable constant essentially and compares it against the other two levels. And because we're doing multiple comparisons, I'll ask for a bond for any adjustment. So, um, if we if we go ahead and run that, we'll we'll get we'll get some output. And first, first of all, we should look at our Levine's test, which is not significant. So we met that assumption. Um, um, our interact interaction effect is is significant. So so are the main effects as well. But I um that's not what I'm focusing on. Focusing on uh, so we can go ahead and look at our plot that we asked for, and we can see that in terms in terms of the esti estimated estimated marginal means that have been estimated by the model in the in the waiting list condition whether you got the placebo drug or the active drug 
didn't really seem to make much of a difference and uh, in the therapy condition uh, participants seem to have, have a lot lower depressive symptoms in the therapy condition than, than they do in the um, weightiness condition but this this is what a simple effect analysis is testing this is why we want to, do, we want to know if this is different or if this is different so um, um, well, to do that we need to look at the table labelled pairwise comparisons that we asked for and because because these are pairwise and because it's two levels it's going to report each, each one twice but we can see that the, 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 each comparison for the weight and each condition comparing them separately is not significant but each comparison for the therapy condition is is significant so uh, that's telling us in terms of interpretation that well, well whether you're on whether you're on the placebo or the, the active drug only matters if you're having it's contingent on this therapy variable because if you're assigned to the weightiness level this 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 there's no significant difference here so that's how to do a simple effects analysis in the next video we're going to go into a lot more detail on this it's, it's it's a lot more complicated than that because a lot of people think this is just passing out the interaction effect but it's it's actually having some benefit from <coughs> from the main effects as well so we're, i'm certainly going to do a more advanced video on this but uh, for people that needed to gain an understanding of this is this has been a simple introduction to simple main effects analysis thank you for watching